Hey everyone, this is Drew at Headset Advisor, and today we're going to talk about the differences between a decked 6.0 wireless headset versus a Bluetooth headset. So let's get into that right now. There seems to be a lot of confusion between uh, decked headsets and Bluetooth. Many customers will look at a headset like this or a headset like this and think that you can take the headset with you. For example, I'll put it on. You may think that you can take this headset with you in the car and use it on your Bluetooth cell phone. Unfortunately, that's not the case. This model specifically does allow you to connect to your cell phone, but it's, the Bluetooth is in the charging base. Overall, the headset operates on decked 6.0 technology, which gives you about 10 times the wireless range of a headset like this that is Bluetooth. So there's some pros and cons to decked and Bluetooth headsets. The pros to a decked headset is it's gonna give you longer wireless range, um, more security. Uh, most of the time, decked headsets have a replaceable battery, and overall, um, decked headsets are gonna be for your uh, desk phones and a number of other devices. So these two models, for example, the Savvy 740 connects to your desk phone, computer, and mobile phone. The Discover D904 is best for your desk phone and computer, whereas um, you wouldn't use a Bluetooth headset in most cases on your desk phone. Whenever customers do use a Bluetooth headset on a Bluetooth enabled desk phone, they find a lot of problems like calls dropping, connectivity issues, bad sound quality, and little to no wireless range. In addition, if you're deploying a lot of headsets in one environment, Decked headsets are the way to go because you can get more units in one area without um, interference. Whereas if you take a Bluetooth headset and you put say 100 headsets in the same area, good luck because there's gonna be a whole lot of interference and it's gonna be a nightmare. So you may save some money on those Bluetooth headsets up front, but the money it's gonna cost you in the long run is not gonna be worth it. So in that case, decked headsets are always the way to go if you're de deploying a lot of headsets in one area. Now, the pros of a Bluetooth headset, um, you want to, if for your business calls and meetings, any Bluetooth headset, you always want to consider one that's a, a professional grade headset. This headset's the Voyager 4210 UC, and it includes this small USB adapter. Don't get it mistaken though, this USB adapter is small, but it is very powerful because it has um, software built into the USB adapter that gives you an overall better experience when you're using the headset for your uh, Bluetooth uh, cell phones as well as your computers. If you don't have this Bluetooth adapter or if you don't get a model with that Bluetooth adapter, then um, you're gonna get little to no wireless range, you'll have connectivity issues, you won't be able to seamlessly switch to uh, your mobile phone and computer, and if you connect the headset direct to your computer via Bluetooth, uh, sometimes it's only for communication and you won't be able to use the headset on say like YouTube, for example. So there's a lot of advantages to getting a Bluetooth professional grade headset like the Plantronics here, but there's so many other models to consider. If you need help choosing a model, whether it's a decked headset or a Bluetooth model for your business calls and meetings, reach out to us here at Headset Advisor and we'll match you with the perfect headset. The uh, con of a decked headset is it's gonna be less mobile. So if you're using a laptop and you're maybe in and out of the office or you're mainly on your cell phone and laptop for calls, uh, a decked headset's usually not the way to go unless you're stationary. So if you're in a home office and you're connecting to say a desk phone and a uh, computer, a decked headset, and say you, say you want a uh, longer wireless range, a decked headset's gonna be a clear choice because this model is gonna give you 10 times the wireless range in comparison to a Bluetooth model. So it'll give you longer wireless range and more freedom to uh, have crystal clear conversations in your uh, house or uh, work environment. Now, uh, that being said, you're not gonna be as mobile. So if you need to just get up and go uh, and take the headset with you, say you work in the uh, office sometimes and you work at home, then you'd have to take the charging base with you and take the power adapter and all the cords with you Whereas if you're in an application where you use your cell phone and computer the majority of the time, say you work at a coffee shop some days, you work at home other days, you're just doing, you're just more mobile. Then a Bluetooth headset 
is going to be the way to go like this. There's many other models of the Voyager 4210, whether you like something that covers both ears, one ear, uh, something that's an earpiece style. You always want to get a model in that situation that includes this USB adapter. All the major brands have that USB adapter. Don't get fooled by other Bluetooth headsets that are of lesser quality online. Their Bluetooth adapters right here don't have software built, in, built into them. They only have uh, Bluetooth built into the USB adapter. So all it is is it allows the headset to connect to your computer via Bluetooth, but it's not going to give you any additional features like one example of a feature that a headset like this with the adapter would do for you is you'd be able to answer and end calls away from the desk, uh, excuse me, from the computer on certain um, soft phone applications. If you have like Ring Central, Cisco, uh, Microsoft Teams, apps like that, the headset would allow you to actually press one button on the ear when you're away from the computer and still answer and end uh, your phone calls. So that's just one um, advantage that a Bluetooth headset with that USB adapter would do for you. But overall, both headsets are designed for different applications. So don't get fooled by just the price online. You have to, you really want to consider a headset that's best for your specific needs. Sometimes we recommend a decked headset for customers. Other times we recommend the Bluetooth model. It just depends on your specific needs. Uh, definitely if you're deploying uh, many headsets in one area where people are near each other. You want to stay far, far, far away from Bluetooth. Not only will all the headsets operate on Bluetooth, but there's a chance uh, all the other devices that uh, operate on Bluetooth will uh, interfere. We've had customers that have used a Bluetooth headset and out of nowhere, they can literally hear their coworkers' conversation. So they're on a call, they all of a sudden are hearing their neighbor uh five cubicles over, they're hearing their conversation. Other people have heard um, radio, like a radio station in their ear out of nowhere. So in that case, you wanna avoid Bluetooth. You wanna get a mix of decked headsets in that scenario. So hopefully this answers the difference between decked and Bluetooth. Both have their pros and both have their cons and they're designed for two different types of companies and uh, user applications. As I mentioned, if you need help selecting a headset and you don't know which one to choose, leave us a comment with your questions and we'll answer back. Otherwise, contact us here at Headset Advisor. And if this video is helpful, please hit the like, subscribe for more videos like this. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching this video.